Is your iMac making a very annoying buzzing noise coming out of the top left corner? In this video, I'll show you how to fix that coming up next. Hello everybody, Rudy here from Take A Bath Productions with another video to help you fix various things. Today we're working on this 27 inch iMac back here. I don't think this problem is exclusive to the 27 inch iMac, but it just happens to be what we're working on today. We have a very annoying buzzing noise coming out of the top left corner, and it definitely seems to be affected by brightness. It's worse when you turn the brightness up, and it's not so bad when you turn it down. It's been intermittent here for me for a few months and it's just driving me crazy. And uh, finally I got to the bottom of it and got it fixed and that's what I'm going to share with you coming up. Alright guys, as you can see I've got it laying on its back. Um, you can do this while it's standing straight up, but if you don't have somebody to hold the computer body, it, uh, to me it's better if it's laying on its back, that way the weight of the computer is helping you. And um, gonna need some of these suction cups I got these from Amazon this is real easy um, just get them on there and give it a little yank like that and that's it try not to touch the inside of the um, the glass there so you'll be cleaning it for a half an hour trying to get the fingerprints off just setting that aside now this uh, screen has got eight screws on each side well four on each side eight total uh, so you'll need to pull them out. I'm going to fast forward this part so you don't have to watch me unscrew eight screws. Alright, I got the eight screws out. Just carefully lift up on each side of the screen. Probably a flathead screwdriver would work the best. I'm, don't wa don't watch me. I'm using pliers, going against my own advice. Whatever something, whatever something thin you can jam in there will be fine. Now what I like to do, because I'm usually working by myself, I don't have anybody to hold the monitor, is shove something in here. Be careful, don't put something too big in there. You'll stretch the wires. I'm going to try to readjust the camera so you can see up in there, and I'll be right back. All right, we're looking at the right side of the computer. There's only four cables that you need to take loose, so that's good. But they are very uh, delicate, so that's the bad part. Um, just very carefully. without trying to pull on the wires too much. There we go. And there's one back here. I'm probably gonna have to put my hand in the way, so I apologize for that. It's just the only way I can get in there without breaking the computer. Okay, I pull that loose. All right, you got two more cables on the other side. Be real careful. Pull that one loose. This one has a little tab right here. Lift up on the tab and very carefully pull it out of there. All right, the LCD is loose. All right, once you get the cables loose, take my prop away, simply lift it up out of the way and try not to touch the screen part or you'll be wiping fingerprints for a long time. All right, what we're looking at here is the top left of the computer. Here's the hard drive, and um, here's the power supply. This is where the noise is coming from. I verified this. I took the power supply out while it was running, flipped it over where I could actually see it, and the no I couldn't tell exactly wh which component the noise was coming from, but it was definitely coming out of the power supply. So we're going to replace the power supply. Unfortunately, uh, most of my videos are free or cheap fixes but I don't have a free or cheap fix. I ordered a new power supply. This thing was $80. And I saw plenty of used ones on eBay for anywhere from $30 to $50. Now you can get that and take a chance if you want, but I was afraid I was gonna wind up with somebody else's junk. 
that works but has the same problem. So that's your call. I chose to get a new one and um, we're going to go from there. Now one thing I want you to notice when you take this out, there's four screws, three, four. Every one of them is different. So the best bet on that is to lay them out on the table in the order that you took them out. That way you don't have to fiddle and fart around when you go put it back together to figure out which screws go where. All right. So I'm going to take the four screws out and fast forward that part and I'll be right back. All right, carefully lift it up. Be careful, there's some capacitors on here. Those capacitors can hold a charge, so your best bet is to hold it from the edges instead of from the middle, because you can't really see where the capacitors are at. And you could get shocked, even if it's unplugged. Grab this connector and Squeeze, there's a little tab right there. Squeeze the tab, and wiggle it back and forth, and then the power coming in from the plug right there. Uh, one thing I did want to mention is these things are looking almost identical. You might want to label the one that you took out old or something, put an X on it or something like that so you don't get them mixed up and wind up putting the bad power supply back in there and then the good one is sitting on the table and then you have to take it all apart all over again just a little tip all right let's put the new one in just plug it up it's pretty easy Again, careful where you're pushing down on here. You might get zapped. All right, that's it on the power supply. I'll go ahead and put the monitor back in on fast forward. And just especially be careful with this plug right here where it had that little tab. Um, it's just easy to break this stuff, so you got to be real careful with it. All right, we got it all back together. Let's boot it up. See what happens. Well, it came on. That's a good sign. All right, it's all booted up and no sign of any noise. I'm going to test it for about a week and come back and verify that it's working and fixed. And I'll be back in a week. All right, guys, it's been about a week. Computer's been working perfect. No noises, no glitches, nothing like that. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, click on the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I come out with videos like this as often as I can. Thanks for watching.